Good morning, Fruitville Pirates, and welcome to FVNN. Today is Friday, January 12th, a.k.a. Floating Head Friday, and the 95th day of school. I'm Tasman. And I'm Tatum. Now to some more for the pledges. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Fruitville Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Thanks, Samuel. You are awesome. Now it's time for Grammar Trivia. The number to call on your screen is 50612. Today we'll be answering caller number four. The question is, what is wrong with this sentence? Who will be attending Uncommon Kids on January 13th, 2018? Sorry, you're caller number one. Sorry, you're caller number two. Sorry, you call her number three. Hello, whose class is this? We'll be taking the next caller. Hello, whose class is this? We'll be answering the next caller. Hello? Lucas, up here. Hello, whose class is this? <laughs> Somebody's at the door. Hello? Whose class is this? Miss Hodge. And who's speaking? Lucas. And what's the correct answer? Capitalize the W and who? And there's Capitalize more. Capitalize the J in January. And. And. And then there. And there needs to be a question mark. Let's just do that. Woo! The answer is, the W in who should be capitalized, the U in uncommon should be capitalized, the K in kids should be capitalized, the J in January should be capitalized, there should be a comma between 13th and 2018, and there should be a question mark at the end. Now to Alex for today's menu. Today we will be having hot ham and cheese, cheese on, on, sabata, on a sabata, Chicken tenders with biscuit, yogurt parfait, corn chowder, potato smiles, garden salad, assorted peppers with dip, applesauce cup, <laughs> fresh grapes, cool tropics, blue raspberry, frozen fruit juice. R. The template for our yearbook has been chosen. This helps tell your class's story in a little more detail. To help us out with this, you will find these five questions to answer. Number one, class accomplishments. Number two, favorite classroom memory. Number three, best thing about my class. Number four, what we learned. And number five, funniest classroom moment. Please answer these as soon as you can and return the paper to Miss Kane's mailbox. Today is the second quarter PRP party. To, to all the, of those who made it, congratulations. If you did not make it to this one, make it your New Year's resolution to attend the next one. Hope to see you all there. Our yearbook is on sale. The last day to purchase one of these amazing books is March 9th. Uncommon Kids will be coming to Fruitville this Saturday. You can come to, to the school for fun activities, sports, crafts, and games. We also have a free breakfast. You can come on January 13th, 2018 from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock. There will be no school on Monday due to Martin Luther King Day. Enjoy this day off. Now it's riddles time. What is at the end of a rainbow? I don't know, Tatum. What? The letter W. 
Now it's time for which is worse. Which is worse, having no lunch money in your account or having indoor recess? I, oh. I think having no lunch money would be worse. I agree, because sometimes indoor recess can be fun. Now to Mr. French for some announcements. Oh, we're hoping no indoor recess today because we have PRP party, and it is a little cloudy, but <coughs> Mr. French, the meteorologist, has checked and it is going, not going to rain until after 2 o'clock. So we're going to be all good with the PRP party. might be a little misty this morning with that fog burning off, but after that, it's going to be a nice day with maybe a little bit of wind, all right? We're going to be a little windy today, but I think we're going to be plenty, plenty, great on the weather all right so everybody please a couple things about prp please make sure you're on time uh teachers please make sure you're on time because as you know the schedule is tight so thank you guys for doing an outstanding job and congratulations to all our winners who got prp so all right we're gonna do yes yes congratulations so don't forget no school tomorrow if you have not went to the cafeteria and you are a backpack kid Please make sure you're going at this time. I know the anchors have probably already said that, but if you have not gone as a backpack kid, please make sure you are on your way. Backpack kids should be headed down to the cafeteria at this time. All right, we want to get those in before our PRP starts. All right, 10 names today. Maybe go to 11. You know Mr. French likes that odd. I never like, like even. So here we go. Number one, Kristen Soler from Miss Mayer's class. Great effort during AR. Number two. Three and four, CJ from his Picard's class, doing reflex math over the break. I love it. Paulina from Miss Rice's class, a great dojo day. Number four, Tim from Cunningham, not giving up riding when his answer to the prompt on his wonders test. Boy, look at that, four different classes already, so we're doing great. Number five and six. Dahlia from Miss English class, excellent work in completing that work. Allie from Miss Dindy's class, following directions. Number seven, eight, nine. Here we go. And we, so far, we've been doing really good. As different names. Mia from Mrs. Rice class. Great job. Next one. Oh, here we go. Ethan from Mrs. Rice's class. All right, now Mr. French has got to mix them up. So we got three more. Got a lot of Mrs. Rice's in there. Our first one of the three is Landon from Cunningham's class. Helping seating problem on a bus trip. Love that. Number 10. Here he is. Or her. Michaela from his English class. Great effort on math classwork. And our last one. Give me a drum roll, please. Is all the way on the bottom today. Taylor from Mrs. Rice's class. More dojo than needed. So congratulations to Taylor's class and all our winners. Head on down to Mr. French's office. I'll be there in just a few minutes to kind of work it through. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. Enjoy your Monday. We will see you on Tuesday. Hey, if you have a jacket, please make sure you have it. It's supposed to get cold next week. So if you're missing a jacket, please make sure you check the lost and found. Back to the anchors. Thank you, Mr. French, and congratulations, Erd winners. Yearbook club meets today. Remember, no school on Monday. And breaking news: Jogathon envelopes go home today, and the Jogathon is on January 26th. And thank you for watching another amazing episode of FBNN. I'm Tatum, and I'm Tasman. We can't have a fantastic Friday. See you on Tuesday.